Hello everyone, welcome back to Against the Storm. We're jumping straight into it. I'm still trying to push out to the west here. No real target for it, but I want to try to get to this guy before we reach the next cycle. So uh, let's just get going. We're always taking beavers if we have them available. Wood in this game is like so valuable. So definitely doing that. Uh, some extra food and some extra villagers. I feel like I have kind of gotten the basics down now so uh, let's see if we can knock this out a little bit quickly uh, we have a fresh breeze we have some royal funding gain some ember and the breeze will give us movement speed uh, and then we have giant organisms as well as gathering knowledge so nothing new there nothing we haven't seen before do we have a trapper's camp no we do have a forager's camp uh, what do we have in regards to natural resources? We do have grains. Uh, yeah. We prefer grain. I think I prefer grain. Let's go for grain. Uh, so grain is good, cookhouse is good as well, but we don't have, as far as I know, any... Uh, we do actually have some stuff here that we can make into skewers. But yeah, not the first priority we have. Uh, water skin, oil, flour, press. That's interesting. I uh, don't think we need that though. We do need something for planks, that's like the main part. I guess this would be kind of good because we get better fabrics with it. But cook cows is like skewers and biscuits. That's what these guys are all eating. So skewers for the lizards, biscuits for the beavers as well as the harpies. So yeah, I think we have to go for the, the cook cows. And then we hope for planks here. Get a, a bakery, really? <laughs> Out of all things we could have gotten, we get a bakery. You trolls. Uh, so this is for biscuits and pie. Pie is the only thing we don't have. I might just go for this to get some porridge. There's no one who wants to have porridge. There's two people who want to have pie. That is so annoying. Am I going to have to take this one? Ah, that's unfortunate. I didn't want to have uh, the bakery as well. Then I wouldn't have taken what we took before. Do we have any? We can reroll once without paying. And then we get scrolls, tools and ale, or coats, pigments and barrels. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. So, we are going to need some food from you guys for sure. Uh, artisan, probably not relevant right now. These, we might as well set up a couple. Are going to need that. Cookhouse will not happen in a while. So, should we try to push into a, a Forbidden Glade the first thing we do this time? We can push here into this for, uh, Dangerous Glade. Not the Forbidden Glade, those are the really bad ones. We don't want to push into a Forbidden the first thing we do. But yeah, I think we might want to push into this. Just get that open as soon as possible. Already out of logs, yeah. <laughs> so, what is this guy? Receive three provisions for every new villager. Each newcomer group has two additional villagers. Uh, newcomers bring 4% more goods with them for every heart level gained. I uh, guess we can do that. That's at least quite good in the beginning of the game. We get our first orders, wood or events. I think I'm gonna go for the event here. We're already working on the first one. Stonecutter's camp, harvester's camp, or have at least six harpies. We already have that and we'll get the herbalist camp for free and some coats for that. And here we have this one for grain and that or 25% faster crops and that. I think we will go for these. 
I think we have the option to build all of those. Yep. So that'll be good. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, a lot of stuff. Snake nests, leech brood mothers, more snake nests, copper veins, coal deposits, fertile soil. I didn't think they had any of that. Medium cash and a blood flower. Alrighty, and the blood flower is. Uh, the odor of the blood flower makes people feel sick. Minus one to global resolve, and blood flowers have a tendency to spread uncontrollably. And this is just consuming food for us. Okay, and we get a few things back for doing that. So I'm just gonna send these guys to do that. Takes two minutes. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that we have fertile soil here. I did not expect that. So, we already got our first blueprint. Uh, we can have a weaver, but we are going for the lumber mill. Almost for sure. Yeah, I don't see any reason to go for anything else. Going for the lumber mill. Lumber mill, we can build you here. Okay, knocking this one out of the park pretty easy at least. Uh, so that is the blood flower done. One of the glade events completed as well. Which means that we get even more of these upgrades. We can have a plantation. That could probably be a good good thing to have. Uh, that will allow us to make plant fiber and berries. I don't think we have anything to produce. Can you guys use plant fiber for this? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, Easy piece, then we just do this through that, and then we'll place you here. And it looks like we can do this medium cache as well uh, from the sea mirror, which we actually got from the event that we just did, which is nice. We don't really need to do anything about that either. Uh, I just kind of wish that we could get a little bit more out of this. Still have a little bit left to cut into there. Okay then, exploration expedition. Get a constant minus five penalty to global resort, but plus five to global resort for five minutes every time you, a new glade is discovered. We did this in the last episode, it was quite fun actually. Uh, we have a few more orders, so deliver wine. We don't have any way to produce wine or pottery. Uh, we can produce this though, so we are probably going to go for that and we get more personnel doing that as well, so definitely going for that one. Uh, encampment level one, two hearths, and the builder can carry more stuff. Resin production. Fuel burns for longer. I don't even think we have the stuff to sacrifice that. I might go for the hearth one. That's not impossible to do. I just very rarely feel like I need two hearths. But if we need to build it, then it's not easy. Not that hard to actually get built. Ooh. Wood cutting is a lot easier. Nine coins. Can we sell something to get nine coins? Maybe? Three of you. Oh, that is not a lot. Okay. Um, how do I get nine coins? Not sure. Let's accept that one at least. I would have really liked to be able to do this, but it doesn't look like we'll have that option. It's really unfortunate. Because um, yeah, wood cutting would be massive to have, but I would literally have to sell everything to do it. Which just, it's not, not really feasible to do. So, uh, guess we're not doing that. 
If we're lucky, we'll get some personnel. But they'll arrive in four minutes and this guy will re leave any minute, so... That won't work. Let's get one of these. It's a coats production, we already have that. Cellar for wine, pickles and jerky. Press for oil and flour. We don't have flour at the moment, so maybe I want to go for a... Press. This is used as fuel, we don't really need that. But if we can get some flour, that would be helpful. Uh, yeah, let's do that. This resolve is not very great, and that's probably because of the storm mainly. Yeah. Guess we could bring this up by not having a bunch of woodcutters. Okay, this is going surprisingly well actually. Keep chopping wood, but not really to the extent that we can maybe want it to. Uh, do we have a mine? Yes. So let's get the mine onto here. That will definitely help. New cornerstone, gain one production yield for all trade goods. Uh, mysterious ingredients discovered by the famous chef and businessman Sorg. Gain 10 skewers for every pickled goods produced. Gain 10 jerky for every pie produced. That could be really good. I think we'll go for the pie one. And here we have... Actually a little bit of coin wouldn't hurt. They keep pushing us on these rain punk engines. I still haven't found a use for it and I don't have one available to me either so I can't really do anything with them. I know it's an option to do it but I'm not sure what... What I can do. Uh, let's see which ones want to work here. You do. Okay. So there. Do that. You... Those, these, uh, you are producing both of those. Oops, I just opened something I shouldn't have. Uh, so what was this? That was a normal dangerous one because that is the, the horrible one. Uh, so we just got a scribe, the one that we just built ourselves. Okay, good. What else do we have? We have these guys, so defenseless. Negative resolve or... Wow, we can provide stone if we had any. What did they do? They destroy three random caches. And plus one impatience point. We would get so much by doing this. Minus six to resolve. We can kind of survive that. It's maybe the harpies. That's a bit questionable. Yeah, why, why not? Yeah. Send that out. That is going to bring their resolve down. Hopefully they won't just leave. Uh, do we have a high impact here? No, not really. It's a harpies. If I wanted you to be more happy, how do I do that? I provide you with coats. Uh, these guys. So let's build that. Are they actually fighting these guys? <laughs> Look at this. I think only two of these are actually ours, so I guess the rest of them are uh, just gonna be there to join us eventually. That's kind of nice. I really like the art style in this game. It is so cute. Oh my, the Harpy Resolve is uh, tough. Now they are suffering from hunger as well. Why? 
Can we not suffer from hunger at least? Like, what are we missing? We're having both of those. Um, wish I had a large trapper's camp. That would really help. I wish there was an easy way to get out all of the woodcutters. Like the... Having to go through these one by one. It is kind of annoying. That should bring the resolve back. Okay, more workers seems good. Getting some free planks as well doesn't seem too bad. Why are we not getting... Oh, we do have missions from this guy, this girl. Uh, deliver drizzle water. Uh, is that worth it? More ale. Rain collectors are good. So maybe we should go for that. And then these are ancient tablets and discover glades. Keeps lizards or so of above 20. I can't even hit 15 easily. <laughs> uh, getting some extra lizards wouldn't hurt though. Extra meat doesn't hurt, e hurt either. But 12 tools is hard to beat. Now nah, let's go for the lizards. Okay, let's look into these small claves right here, see if there's anything for us to produce. We have two trappers camps, it's not being used at all. So if we could get those to kind of do some work, that would be good. Yeah, beavers or lizards are real happy, almost. Well, they were for a little bit. Where do we get skewers from? Ah, oh, from the cookhouse. Okay. So we kind of just need more... Maybe I shouldn't open up this guy then. Maybe I'll just open up one of them and then try to push into here instead. That might actually be better. New orders. Have at least 10 harpies for 120 seconds. That's already done. Fulfill jerky. We do not have any jerky. This is fairly easy. All packs of goods produced are 50% faster. <sighs> Berry production is... I just wish we had something for, for jerky. To make jerky. And we would be fine with this. Actually, not sure what I want to pick there. Gonna wait a little bit and see what we are getting here. Okay, so what do we have here? That is exactly what we needed. So these guys goes in here. We'll put you there and we'll put you here. Move you both into here. That'll get us a uh, Bunch of food. Exactly what we needed. That's only food. <laughs> we do have these as well, but we need a big trapper's camp for that, which we don't have. Okay, so for these orders, I guess we're going with the simple one. I'm just gonna get the, the extra work part of it. And here we could actually go for the clothing. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any leather. I'm not sure I will be able to do that. But damn, that would be nice. Plus three to coats as well. And more fabric. Hmm. I guess we can do this quite easily as well. We'll get some pie and some tools. Let's do that. Let's do that. And there we have the provision and the crops. So that one is done. And there we have the rain collection done. So that's good. Everything is going quite slow anyway though. And uh, thinking we would knock this out quite quickly, but it doesn't look like it's too fast. 
And here we have another one, finally more of the the farm fields. We also have a graveyard or a cemetery. 50% less value to traders and one impatience points. 30 hostility every 60 seconds. Or one of those for 8 of you and 15 amber. Can I get more amber somehow? Not really, huh? When does the next trader show up? That's a long time. Damn, I wish we could have done that. That's actually a good payday. That's actually a good payday. I don't think we have anything here that we can do either, right? No. Oh, we're actually out of pack of provisions? Why? Because we're out of food. Okay, so now we have our temple up and running. Which means that we should see people start getting educated. Yes, these guys are already getting education. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Look at this, Harpies are actually having a really good time at least. I've been struggling with Resolve this whole game more or less, but it looks like it's moving in the right direction now. Uh, I just really want to get this up. Is it 15 we need? Yeah, 15 plus we need the provisions for it. So yeah, we can't actually do anything there. Uh, unless we want to call him immediately, then I don't see us actually doing anything here. I think we just need to take this. Just take the loss. Uh, so put you onto there. Investigate that. Um, Petrus doesn't have any suitable trees. Are you sure? You sure, bud? Seems quite easy. Set the tools to sense for grabbing tree stumps. Gain 15 roots every time you discover a new glade. Nah, I'm gonna go for this one. That seems quite simple. Ooh, I forgot. It's leather. We don't have any leather at the moment. Uh, Okay, and then we have at least a bunch of lizards or a bunch of beavers. I think we have to go for beavers because I only need one more of them. And we got our beavers as well, which is good to see. So we can get another blueprint and this time... Uh, yeah, what do we need? Plants and tools, oil and incense, you need incense for something. You start the temple, yeah right, maybe I should do that then. It's usually all of these things that we don't have access to however. Um, hmm. Training gear and tea. I don't think we have the thing that you need for this, no. Do it's hot, it might be actually. Um, leisure is only for humans and a or for beavers and ale is not for anyone. Yeah, I think we have to go for the incense one. That seems to be the only one that makes any sense. If you ask me. Everyone is very happy at least. Everyone is very very satisfied with how we're doing. Uh, spiced ale. Additional plus one resolve when under the effect of leisure. I don't have leisure. Unfortunately. Oh, you can choose one from all available. If I had the money for that, I would definitely do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 54 grand is a little bit steep for me. Little bit steep for me. 
Everyone is so happy, but they're also complaining about literally everything. Sounds like we just opened up a glaive somewhere. Is that true? I hope not. Uh, so small trapper's camp doesn't have anything to do. Mine is empty and doesn't have anything to do. So let's get rid of you. And we're out of food. Just empty the trapper's camp for now then. Get a upgrade. We have a flower one. Oh, we finally get one for jerky. Might just have to go for the smokehouse. Because if we get jerky, that is going to be massive for us. Get the smokehouse in here. Okay, we should open up this glade now. Any second, they're here cutting. There we go. Massive tree. Gosh, I love the art style in this game. It is just gorgeous, everything. This is probably gonna be the thumbnail of today's video. I imagine. You know, in the comments if I'm right. Uh, so, what did we get here? Whatever the fuck that is. Hungry mist worm. Horse is cooked raw food and raw food in warehouse is disappearing at the rate of 4 items every 10 seconds. That's 40 seconds with that. Or 4 minutes with that. Lower hostility. I think we might have to go for this. What is this? A wild type of grain mutated by an invasive species of fungi. It requires a camp with a, a two recipe. No way, it gives us... Wow, a thousand charges? That is so broken. Okay, I'm building another one of these then. I might even build two of them. That is a lot of food. All of that grain. Just need to get our production here up and running. So let's get you guys working on this. Ah, you guys like to be in there. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, that will get those going. And we... I don't think we need... You will be producing a bunch of different things. Like reeds. We can use that for this, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you guys to prioritize these. Same thing with you. That is the trade goods and the luxury goods done. Finish that up. We are also really close with the reputation here. So that should be done any minute now. So, tools production, plus one. That would be very good, but we're not producing any tools. Gain crystallized dew for every 10 berries produced. Yes, please. Uh, generous donation. Every full reputation point you acquire lowers impatience. Reputation could, could be good. Uh, let's get the tools one as well. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. And then we get this guy with tools. Could we please not have minus here? Like, just a little bit of positive would be nice. But yeah, it's hunger, that's the issue. What is it that you want to eat? And why are you not eating that? It's the biscuits. So these guys are not able to produce enough. Looks like we cleared the death eating worm or whatever it was at least. So that worked out. That worked out. And now we should be able to 
get everyone back on their feet again. Look at this, we are almost there. 13.2, just a couple of more points and then we are done. Uh, we could probably do that with Lizard's Resolve if we just got something additional for them. Uh, can we make pickled goods, maybe? Pickle. We cannot. Uh, brawling we should be able to make at least. Uh, if we had any of these training thingies. We don't. You know what? We could do this fairly easily. We'll just build another hearth over here. Small hearth. Lunk. Mine has no available ore. That's fine. You don't have to work anymore then. We will finish this mission right about now. So all good there. We have that stuff. We have you and we have these. So everything there is good. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna need some beautification, which is here. One park, please. And that should get us up to level one. Bam. Get you to work there. No, get you to work there. Yes. Then we build up the houses. That's three people. That's a park. And all the houses are built. Hello? Ew, everyone is not living here. Can we delete you? Thank you. Let's finish this mission. Well done. Well done. Level 8. Open the smithy. A market. Interesting. Luxury and treatment. Let's head back to the world map. Let's see if we made it before the next cycle or if we will need one more go. No, we can actually make it up to this guy then. The ancient valuables are or resources lost by another Viceroy. Select the chest to collect its contents. There we go. So that's a few artifacts. That helps. Very good. Let's head in here. Managed to get one more deed. Win a game with at least five ancient tablets in the warehouse. Don't know why that would be good. We got a big shelter for it, so guess that's good as built as we built near the hearth can house six citizens so upgrades let's just continue with the houses so let's get the beaver houses i guess still haven't unlocked the daily or the training ex expeditions since interesting but yeah, that was another episode of Against Storm. This game is fantastic. I really, really like that. Like the game, unless you haven't noticed. Uh, we'll be back probably a little bit later on in the week with another episode of Against the Storm. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone.